my friends, welcome back to this Stellaris Guide. Now, last episode, war was declared and we are fighting a superior enemy. Now, um, most likely they have, they, they don't have orders, they are assembling their fleets and they will uh, attack us. I'm hoping they will attack this fleet in this state. Uh, I don't like it when they start gathering all of their fleets. I'd rather fight their fleets in smaller portions so uh, we can do more damage to smaller uh, fleets than having to do a massive fight with a massive uh, fleet uh, against us. But before we do anything else, there's one more thing that I need to be doing uh, in fleet design. We have the stations. Uh, we're going to be calling this one anti-missile. Um, uh, the reason for it is um, we now know what the uh, the ships can do. So having point defense in here as well as um, some... Well, actually I don't want to go all point defense because they have a few weapons that will eventually harm the stations. And they can only have one point defense. So if we'll have four point defense in here and we'll have multiple stations... Well, having a fight against a larger fleet, having them only one would be very nice. Let's auto-complete here. Now, we know they are focusing damage on uh, shields. So, getting a tiny bit more in the armor department would be nice. They would do less damage. So, let, let's just flip this one around and let's do it like this. Actually, it doesn't matter all that much because we're, we're stopping those missiles. Having a bit of uh, of shields is, is quite funny. Let's see all of this. This is a platform, ship firing rate plus 5 and tracking plus 5. This is going to be our anti-missile defensive station. Let's get rid of this one because it has the old name. We don't care about it. Meaning we are going to be building some of these stations. And soon we'll have that technology... The FTL inhibitor, so they can't be um, going past our stations, whatever it is they would like. So, it is time. Will you get orders? Will you attack? That is what I'm hoping that will happen. Otherwise, I might choose to attack this one. They don't have any orders. I kind of want to attack. I kind of want to go in there. Um, just to eradicate... Oh, there you go. There you go. So, it is still not enough for them to kill me. But there is more on its way. So, let's be the aggressor. And hopefully... Oh, they are aggressing. That is great. Let's stop. There you go. So, we're now fighting our very first war. Let's go and do, uh, into this screen over here. What you see in here are the ships, as well as its leaders, currently fighting in this naval battle. And it will show you the damage output, as well as its hit ratio. And the hit ratio is quite nice on our side, it's better than on their side. We're doing way more damage to them than they are doing to us. And that's why you can see that this will go into our favor instead of theirs. They will join in as well. And this will just be absolutely fantastic. Uh, this build, this this one that we just had, is showing you the outcome of any battle. Against this station, we did this percentage of damage. And they did this. This was the hit ratio. This is how, mu uh, how much shots were evaded so it's it's all quite nice actually so let's go here let's take a good look let's slow down the game uh, so we can have a bit of fun watching their fleets being annihilated that's always good fun because they will lose i will expect to see one or two ships go down by pressing F9, we can actually see it uh, even better. Man, I kind of like this. Look at all of those blue lasers. That is fantastic. All of these ships are going down. Fantastic. 
Man, they are, I think they might be jumping out. Some of them are jumping out. Let's go back. Let's take a quick look. We did not lose anyone. Now, by sending them back to a station, they could heal up. I might be considering doing that. So, we took down five of their ships. Um, it won't do as much in uh, terms of uh, fleet power because they are definitely still over there. We have a timed project somewhere, I guess. Oh, look at that. They left some debris. And that is why you want to have a scientist with you. Let's take a quick look. Do we have one for free? This one is over there. He is assisting the research. Um, let's build a science ship. Uh, because we need three, like I said in the very first uh, episode. Um, I want to be focusing on three ships because we want to make sure that our leaders are going to be replaced at the moment they are dying. And this is uh, a good three years, so no point in, in not doing this anyways. Uh, Strike Force, you were going to be merging with the ship. Is that possible? Tracking enemy fleet. Yes, it is. Tracking enemy fleet. They have no orders. They are having transports. Our transports are on its way. Hmm... Let's save up on alloys. Let's see how much damage was done. Um, upgrading this ships might be... Look, they cannot take down one of my stations at the moment. So upgrading my ships might be the best option here. Let's do it. Let's send them to... Um, let's send them out. A new enemy fleet. Ooh. Might be a bit of a struggle. Let's see what will happen. Ah, never mind, go there. They're jumping in. Move there, assist. We might lose over here, we, we might lose this ship, but it's fine. It is fine, we'll, we'll lose plenty other ships. Hmm. If I could build one more station, I might consider going there. But you can see right now, it's only 632. I'd say let's go on the offensive for a bit. Just push them back that they they will have something to do while they're waiting, right? Oh boy. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. I want to see all of their fleets. And by the looks of it, it is a good amount. Oh boy. Uh, we're going to be losing the ship though. That's uh, without a doubt. A leader has died, that fleet is gone, meaning we are going to increase. Let's let's remove you. We don't need you. But we're going to be getting this um, this one reinforced right now. Excavation site's been discovered. This one's done. Let's can click about that. Meaning this science ship is not doing anything because it's new. Let us recruit you. And you're going over here and you're going to be researching that project. You are done. Uh, but we have a uh, excavation site there discovered. Let's go. So we'll hold this system for a while. At least until we destroy more of their fleets. Eventually we'll have to pull back. Uh, some ships will be... Quite damaged and over in time they will overwhelm it. They will overwhelm you. Uh, so keeping your fleets in, in tip top condition is actually quite uh, quite a good idea. There you go. They're sending in the armies alone. That, that's fine. Let them let them go. Like they're actually moving back. What will you do? Oh now you're going to in now you're going in, huh? Let's hope that this is going to be enough. By the looks of it, it is going to be. Let's take a quick look over here. Attacker hull point is going down rather drastic. By the looks of it, we will lose a lot of ships. But I think we're going to be winning this in the end. Oh uh, yeah, we're definitely. Yeah, we're winning this. 
unless they are sending in ships right now. But we might want to focus a bit more on alloys. Tracking enemy fleet. There's more enemy fleets. Oh, that's a lot though. Um, yeah, we definitely want to go back. After this fight, we'll pull back. Um, we did do a lot of damage towards them. So, let's go back and heal. And get the heck out of here before the, these guys jump in. Like I said, look at this. Um, this is uh, your hull, your armor, everything. So, it's a good, ti a good time to get the hell out of there. Uh, before we'll have to fight even more. But looks of it, that's five. Five. A thousand. Uh, and, and, and a bit. Yeah, that's 1500 against my 1500. That is not going to do it. Let's make sure we get as much alloys as possible. Let's sell some of this. And let's buy more. Let's sell two of you. Can we buy more now? No, we can't. Let's buy more alloys. And immediately reinforce this fleet. This this shipyard, it has two, sh um, two shipyards. So it's building two ships at the same time. You're evasive. You are pulling back. Foreign powers are engaging in active hostilities. Okay, so these guys don't know we're declaring war against each other. So it is all all hands, all war. <laughs> Galactic war is imminent. Oh man, I love it. Um, what will you do? As long as we don't see them moving into this direction, I will have that science ship do whatever. The priests have been analyzed. Can we analyze this one as well? Let's see, how long do we have? Okay, now it is moving. Let's pull you back home. Right now, please go home. It is evasive, so we might be able to get the hell out of there. Um, we are healing up here. I think we, we are doing a, a very nice job here. I think we're doing a very nice job. Let's make sure we keep doing all of those ships now we could send them in we could send them in but there is uh, is there need to their fleet power is now overwhelming their war machine is making overtime uh we can't settle status quo just yet once that's possible we might go for it i kind of want to squeeze in some more uh, getting those spricket ships might be very interesting Hmm. Science ship reports enemy contact. Yeah, just jump with that. Jump the hell out of there. He is missing in action. That's what I want to see. So, we got a f small fleet in there. I think it is time. It is time to send you over there. Spaceport reports enemy contact. Um, maybe we'll be just in time. We have 23 ships at the moment. We don't want to engage too many fleets at the same time. There you go. Now, as soon as we see others coming in, we might want to pull out. We just want to do hit and runs at the moment. They, they And let them lose ships. Let them lose ships. Let them do whatever. Uh, and how much damage was done? Uh, some ships definitely got some damage. Let's pull back. And we're going to be keeping reinforcements up. I'll wait for one tick because a ship is 126. I don't want to lose my trade deals already. There you go. Let's reinforce. It's a... Oh, wow. You're sending in one, huh? That's... That's... Wow. That's that's nice. That is really nice. I think my station should be able to take... Oh, there's more coming in. There is more coming in. Uh, eight. Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting quite nice. They're, they're now starting to be nice. But uh, overall, we will get more. Um, that's one thing that we can do over here. So, you are rural. We cannot do the colony anymore. As you can see, colony designation has been lost to us. Uh, we want to change that. It, it has changed to uh, rural. 
And rural will do worker basic output by five. Um, artisan upkeep, factory build speed, foundry build speed, upkeep, generator. I'll probably just put it on generator for now. Just because we have three generator districts in this one. Um, however, we are going to be focusing more on of, of our efforts to alloys. Because we need those. We need those quite a bit. Uh, you are no longer a colony. I want to be focusing you... Actually, let's go and do the aggro world. You are still a colony, which is great. Capital, not a colony. We have the gene clinic. It has been growing our population quite nicely. I do like that. But there is a lot of debris in here. A lot of debris. You, build research stations. The scientist is not doing anything. Uh, you are doing assisting research. You are researching over there. I want you to go over there. What will happen? Uh, I kind of feel like maybe sending in the fleet. It is repaired. No, it's almost repaired. Oh, they're just going all over the board now. Yeah, I still want to go in there. Uh, we're getting more cricket ships, which is definitely what I want. At least I'm hoping to get more cricket ships. Doesn't appear to be so. Hmm... We might dial this one back to 25 and increase you all the way up to 50. 25, 25. Timed project, archaeological site, interesting, let's continue. Let's buy more alloys. Let's sell a thousand. Sell a bit more. Buy more alloys. There you go. And boost you so where will they here uh, go to i kind of feel we definitely want to go in we definitely want to go in here if we can keep them contained into this area that's better if this station doesn't fall it will just keep give them a a station to attack And we are on 2.2 again, so we should be able to deal with most of these ships. Construction complete. So we're definitely going in. Oh man, yeah, look at that. That's quite nice. That is quite nice. It's falling so rapidly. Science division. Reports a new Science division. Yeah, there's your FTL inhibitors. Let's take a quick look. So we have cold fusion reactors, but we don't have the destroyer yet. It's um, not really needed. So, out of all of these options, there are a few nice one. Chemical plant will get you the volatile modes, but we don't have the upgrade for our alloy foundries yet. So, that is only interesting if you're going to be selling. We have the plasma thrower. We will, that will do armor damage and hull damage. It's actually quite nice if you actually get these up with um, missiles. This one is interesting at the moment because 100% shield penetration and armor penetration. Yes, the tracking is lower and the cooldown is 6.10. But it is a hell of a lot of damage to those ships. Getting close in there, getting the shields out, getting the armor out. You only need something that would do hull. So maybe this in combination with a missile would be very nice. So let's go and take that one. For now, this fight, we're going to allow this fleet to get in there as well. And they are hurting. They, they are really, they are hurting. They're no longer overwhelming. We are pushing them in there. Attrition is, is probably going through the roof. They're at negative 16. We're on positive uh, 19. So we definitely feel we want to push forward. Now, due to the FTL inhibitor... You will get this small uh, U. Actually, it's it's a magnet. It's hard to see it, but it's a magnet. So it's 
pulling those ships towards the station. They cannot uh, ignore the station. Which is great. Really great. So here is our uh, relic world. It, it looks a bit destroyed. I'll be honest with that. What will we do here? We have workers. We... I kind of feel that we're going to be using this one for now. Just to boost up our minerals. Because it will be going down a bit more. But the more alloys we get, the better. Now this one will do 12. So that will bring us down to 25. We could... We could go for a city district and doing another alloy foundry, two of them. I think we will do that. We'll go for an alloy foundry as well as a city district. You will have an alloy foundry. You might need a mineral district with that. We're lacking a tiny bit of, um, of that. Let's send you back for repairs. Uh, the others will join up. We're going to be making sure we increase the fleet. And you will get more anti-missile ships in there. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, some of them are already in here. Uh, as you can see over here. Commonwealth Cer uh, Cerberus. Going back. No, this is not the, the Pricket one. That's a bit of a shame. Let's see. Interceptors. Construction There's our first Pricket class. So he's going to be focusing on that point defense. We'll be definitely shooting some of those missiles out. We'll get less damage. And that's great. That's what we want. And uh, you can also see that our upgrading is going to be um, less expensive. Because the ships that are getting destroyed are probably the old class. So, no problems there. Let's go back in there. We are healed up. Let's uh, see if we can get some more territory out of this. Still want to go over here. Uh, the station does worry me a tiny bit. But uh, I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Science ship. I want you to go there. And then we're going to get all of this out of the way. There's no one here. Cool. Let's see. 121. Let's do that. And we're going to have a lot more alloy production. Yeah, great. Okay, that ended as well. Just a minor artifact found. There was another site discovered, apparently. Man, what the hell is going on? There's so many sites discovered. When I was doing an Ancient Relic series, didn't get anything. Now, tons. Tons of them. This one's already been done. That is a tiny bit unfortunate. And there, where, where are your fleets, bruh? Where are your fleets? So, attrition is taking its toll. And I like it. These uh, stations, well, what kind of weapons are you using? Uh, missiles. So, bricket ships are going to be absolutely fantastic. We'll get no damage from these. Let's get all of this out. And there is uh, fleets going. That's quite nice. I would really like to engage them. Kinda want to engage them. This agricultural world, we are going to be... Hmm... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. And... We'll worry, worry about the rest later. I kinda feel like attacking... If they are not attacking us. And I think they will. They have under they are not sure of themselves yet. So let's go in. Let's go in. 31 ships against their um, their fleet. Or whatever is left of it. There's no ship movement at all. And uh, you would expect there would be more movement. So let's go in here. We're immediately engaging this 1000 uh, fleet. And look at that go. Look at that. Uh, yes, we will lose a few ships. We'll, we'll definitely take a look at it. Uh, but man. We killed four of their ships. They they killed one. And I'm sure it's not Pricket. Uh, it is not Pricket. There you go. Let's increase the fleet some more. In terms of this war. Negative 35 for status quo. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get more out of this. We'll get more out of this. I definitely would like to get both of these. Maybe just uh, secure the region. But getting engaging in this one. Oh, the fleet power is now equivalent. Ooh, we're catching up, guys. We are catching up to an overwhelming enemy. That's what we like. Shall we engage this fleet? I think we do. 25, it's enough for our trade deals. We're making 33 now. 44, uh, 34, sorry. <laughs> I'm not native English. I'm sorry, uh, some, uh, those, those things are really a hassle for me. Let's send you back because of this fleet. Construction complete. Tracking enemy fleet. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is a very nice choke point. If I would have six star bases, I would make one. Seriously, my, my fleet is heading in that direction. Well, it's the safest option, whatever. Uh, there you go, the destroyer has been done. Out of all of these, what I would like most is the afterburners. It will make your corvettes, your, your smaller ships, so much more fast. It is quite nice. And and this, this, this ship is not going to last for too long, I, I think. Well, it's actually not doing too badly. Um, this one has the point defense, I guess. Yes, it is. So, as you can see, even though it is one ship, it is still alive. It was still alive by the time we got there. And our, our armies are going to be caught in the crossfire, aren't they? They might be. They lost four ships there. Oh, this is sometimes it happens. Just, just press that button. We're going to be waiting here. Ooh. Avoid. That is a, a massive one. Okay, with all of that done. I kind of feel like we want to start preparing before they arrive. This station will bait them, I guess. What is your problem? Well, they are moving out. That's great. 1.6k is, is, a, is a bit too much. Status quo. It is definitely in our favor. Let's heal up. Uh, one more tick and I'll upgrade or actually reinforce. There you go. Reinforce. So did this fleet power is growing? You know, our, our it is quite. We've got seven already. They will do so much less damage. Let's take a quick look if they changed anything. Still using missiles. Still weak against um, things that will attack their shields. Let's take a quick look. Oh, we're missing housing and we have unemployment. And we need a more energy. Let's build a generator district. Once this war is done, oh boy. Uh, we will focus uh, all of our efforts on science. A new enemy fleet. Oh, I think this is as good a time as any to uh, make sure that we uh, stop recording. Uh, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, this this war is definitely interesting. Um, it's back and forth. We are against a stronger opponent. Uh, but we will do fine. We will win this uh, due to their weapons. Uh, using missiles against us, the, the pricket ships will do a lot of intercepting those missiles. It, it will just cut their, uh, their fleets in half, even more, maybe more. Come on, repair. Don't be like this. So, what we will do next episode is, um, I'm thinking we're going to be pushing. We want to start taking some of these star bases out, um, so they can't reinforce. Uh, they will attack. But we have those um, those defensive stations, and we will get those stations onto our uh, onto our stations, of course. So yeah, exciting times, exciting times. I hope you agree. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.